diagram shows the relation between set M and N. So we have two sets here, and they ask us to find the object of negative 1. You still remember what's object? Object is nothing but just the individual choices in our domain. So 5, 6, 7 are our object. Since they are looking for the object of negative 1, so we are looking at negative 1 now. So this is negative 1. So if you want to see that, where do they link? We see that what is the numbers that are holding the negative 1? And we found it's eventually 5. So 5 will be our object. Next thing, they're asking us for the range of the relations. So when they ask for a range, it's eventually a group, just remember, it's a set. So it's a set of the things inside the core domain that have partner. So we go for core domain and see who have partner. Negative 3, do we have partner? Yes. Negative 1, yes. 1, yes. 3, yes. But 4 has no partner. So 4 is not inside the range. So I will say the range is eventually negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. So that's all for question number 1. So let us go for question number 2 now. The diagram shows the relation between set P and set Q in the graph forms. So just remember that most of the time, our x-axis is eventually our domain. And our y-axis most of the time is our core domain. We're going to translate this graph to something that we are more familiar first. So we try to plug in all of our domain, which is our x-axis, into the arrow diagram. Here, so we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. The next one, we have the core domain in the y-axis, which is z, w, x, y, and z. As we know, the first point here is 1, w. So we try to link it up now. So it's 1, w. So this is the first pairing. The second pairing is 2, x so we go for 2x the third pairing is 3 uh, sorry is 3x and the last pairing is 4z but the first thing they're asking us is the range of the relations so range again is a set so we can say that the range is a set that consists whoever that is in the core domain have partner so we check first from the first one. W, do we have partner? Yes. Do, F, do X have partner? Yes. Z? Yes. So we now only left with Y have no partner. So we say that the range is eventually consists of W, X, and Z, but not Y. How about the type of relations? Can you see that? 2 and 3 is going after the same guy here. Like Let's say you watch drama and both of you prefer this person, this star, right? So many to one guy. So we said it's many to one. So the answer will be many to one. So we are done for question number two. Now we look at question number three. So this is a diagram showing the relation between set A and set B in terms of arrow diagram. We present the relation in terms of order pair. So if they want you to write down in the order pair, just remember that it also consists of set. And inside the order pair, we're going to put it inside of a, something like a coordinate form. It means that we are going to group the couple one by one. So the first couple that we have is negative 2, 4. So we write it down, negative 2, 4. The second couple that we have is 1, 1. So we have 1, 1. The next couple that we have is 2, 4. So 2, 4. So this is what we're showing the relations. Next one, state the domain of the relations. So domain, most of the times, is the way we started. We start from set A, right? So this is our domain. So our domain now, remember domain is also a set. It consists of negative 2, 1, and 2. So we are done for question number three. Let's go for question question number four. 
So this diagram shows us the graph of functions. This is a modulus graph, which is the absolute value function graph for the domain of negative 2 to 4. So as we know, this is supposed to be negative 2. So they want to find the object of 7. So object of 7, whenever there's something like this, they eventually tell us that the 7 is the image. And they want us to find back the object. So 7 is the image. We want to find back the object. So where is the object? So usually, as we know, x axis is domain. So this is our object. And our y axis will be our image. So when it's 7, we go down. Huh, we have 4 as the object. So the answer is 4 for A. How about B? The image of 3. So if they ask something like this, it means that the 3 is eventually the object. They want us to find the image. But 3 is somewhere here, right? But do we know the value? Huh, we don't know. So how do we do? At least they could provide us the equations. So now we just need to do the equations. We know f of x is equivalent to the modulus of 1 minus 2x. And the image. So this is the image that we're going to have. So now, since we have 3 as the object, we know we just need to key in 3 inside the x. Because x is our object, right? So if we do this one, 1 minus 2 times 3 is 6. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. But don't forget that for modulus, there is always positive. Remember the grandma? Yeah. So it's 5. So as we expect, uh, it's supposed to be 5 here. So after we have 5, so the answer is 5 for B. How about C? They are asking the domain that have the range of 0 to 5. Fx is our y, okay? Fx is our y, which is our image here. Okay? This is our fx. So it means that they want to know that what is the x value when the y is 0 to 5. So 0 to 5 from 0 to 5. 5 is here. 5 is here. So we know it's supposed to be from here, which is negative 2 to 3. Because we know negative 2 to 3, we have the y value of 0 to 5. So we say that the domain is eventually from negative 2 until 3. Question, so we are done for these questions. So next we go for question number 5. The diagram shows us the function of f of x, which have the processing of x minus 2m, where m is a constant. So basically they tell us that we have f functions when we receive the input of x, how we're going to handle it? We're going to do it by, we're going to process it by x minus 2m. x minus 2m. And the next one, they tell us that if we try to key in 4 inside the function of f, so we try, when we key in 4, they will give me add as the answer. Hmm, so how do we do? So since they give us something like this, we're going to try to do it ourselves. Because this is the answer that they're given to us, right? Just like you. In the school, if your friend give you answer, you wouldn't believe, right? You will try to do it by yourself. So I will now try to do it by myself. Means that I will plug in the 4, x by 4. So x by 4. So we will have 4 minus 2m. We will have... 4 minus 2m. So this 4 minus 2m is eventually supposed to be same as the answer that they given to us. Because both of us now is f of 4. So since we are the same, we can say that 4 minus 2m is eventually same with 8. So if we do the linear equations, we move the 4 to the right hand side, become minus. So m is equivalent to negative 2m is equivalent to 4. When you have together it's a times, go there, become divide. So 4 divided by negative 2. So m is supposed to be negative 2. There we are. Done. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, 
The simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.